And we are delighted to have with us Miss Trina Griffin. No, I'm Ann King. Oh, Ann King, sorry. <laughs> Ann King. All right. <laughs> she is here to talk about the Schooner River Art Festival that will be held in Bruce. So tell us a little bit about it. This is our fourth annual festival. We have over 40 artists this year that are coming, and it's all original art. We have everything from pottery to painting, woodworking, wood carving, metal art, fiber arts, just any kind of art is represented. And these are great artists from as far as Natchez, all wow. North Mississippi. And uh, we are going to be set up on the town square, and there's plenty of stuff for people to buy for early Christmas gifts, mm -hmm. and uh, it's just a great day to come out. And so, Schooner River. Yes. Yeah. So this is the river that goes through the city of. It goes kind of through the middle of the county. We mm -hmm. have a north-south Schooner rivalry, kind of like the Egg Bowl <laughs> between the Cowan City and Bruce team. But uh -huh. Schooner River, the name of the festival, kind of wants to unite everybody and get them to Bruce for the art festival. Well, that is great. So how many vendors right? <laughs> Now, do, or how many artists do you have signed We have up? over 40 artists, and then we also have food vendors. Um, we have barbecue, taco in a bag, and then we also have... Taco um, in a bag? Yeah, you have Doritos, and you do all your tacos in it, so you can just walk around and eat conveniently. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we have the Masonic Lodges doing burgers and hot dogs cooking them on site. Um, in addition to all that, we have some great free fun activities for kids. Mm -hmm. We have a make-and-take um event for them. That's the kids' activities going on there mm -hmm. uh, where kids can make an art item and take it. This year we're having a collaborative art thing where the kids work on it and it will be exhibited um, in future festivals. Oh, that's nice. And we also have free demonstrations going on. We have a watercolor paint along demonstration, a wood carver, and we have one of the coolest things, I think. Um, that's one of our awesome wood carvers there the picture but we have mm -hmm. one of the really coolest things is a flint napper it's an ancient craft of making arrowheads and you know spear points that kind of thing and a guy's going to be there demonstrating that mm -hmm. so that's going to be really cool wow this is really nice so now when is it going to be saturday mm -hmm. this saturday and joel has promised us a nice <laughs> crisp cool day so everybody put on your nice fall outfits and jackets and sweaters and come out and shop the festival so we also have things going on like in the Museum. We have a youth art show mm -hmm. that morning. The Chamber of Commerce is um, having a color run, so there's tons of stuff. Oh, these are new this year. Right. This painting was, was created at our 2017 festival by Cooper French from Meridian, and he has given it to us to mm -hmm. use, and we have used it well on these awesome t-shirts. All right. Well, which way? There we go. <laughs> there. And these are available for $15. They're not dated, so mm -hmm. you can have them to wear um, in the future. It's a really Good looking t shirt, I oh. think. All right, so. then. Well, thank you so much, dear Miss King. Again, the Schooner River Art Festival is this Saturday. Y'all come join us in Bruce. <laughs> thank you so much. We'll be right back.